Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, I am the introverted reader and I just got in, <laughs> so excuse me. Um, yeah, she's a little sweaty, but I went out shopping and I wanna show you what I got. <laughs> um, I, I, I went out purely to get clothes for going on my holidays. So if that's not the type of book or type of video that you fancy watching, that's fine. But I couldn't think of anything else to film and I just got home there. So I thought, why not just show them what I bought, you know? So cheers, I'm drinking Diet Coke. Get yourself a wee drink, um, cause you need to stay hydrated and whatever. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so, um, well I went to Dunn's first and I got some clothes. Well, I got two, two items in on stores. I got literally just a plain white t-shirt because like I said, I'm going away on holiday next month and I wanna get some stuff in. So just plain white t-shirt that I can wear with these bottoms, as you can see. Let's open them up here. Woo, with these trousers. So, cause I like, I like wearing trousers like these when it's warmer out, you know? I don't really like getting the legs out if I'm being honest. I mean, I did see some shorts, but I was like, she's not, I'm not getting shorts. I'm not. And then, oh, that is the receipt for those. And then I went to Primark. I went to Primark and I got these trousers. I got these ones which took me a while to find. Honestly, I love Primark, but it can be really messy. You know, people leave things lying on the floor and everything, but those are all the clothes I got. I would have got more, but time was really busy and I had other things to do. But those are the clothes that I got. And actually, funnily enough, while I was shopping about in Dunn stores and Primark, I was listening to my audiobook and I only had two more chapters left of my audiobook, so love that for me and then i went to super drug and did some damage in there <laughs> well i had some things that i had to get out of there and i don't know how exciting you're gonna find all this i don't even know if anybody is even gonna really enjoy me doing this video today but you know like i said i'm i'm getting ahead on my reading i'll be honest with you we'll talk about that in a wee second but I'm doing well in my reading. I have finished two books and I'm on my way to finish the third for the month. So that's good. Um, so far, the reading month has been quite successful. I'll say that. Um, the two books I've read, thus, you know what one of them is, you know, because I, I did a review for The Maid um, in my last video and she got a five stars. And the one I read before that got five stars as well. So reading thus far, lads, has been great. So I need to figure out what my reading plans are going to be for when I go away, but you will be the first to know. So got some makeup wipes in Superdrug. <laughs> I got some hair mousse and I got some spray for the hair because hair like this doesn't just happen. And I got shampoo as well in Superdrug. So that was fun. And then I did actually go to Waterstones. I didn't really mean to, but... I did, so I tripped and fell in Waterstones and I got Children of Anguish and Anarchy by Tomi Adeyemi, which, guys, the way I've been waiting literal years for this book. Can we talk about this cover for a second? Can we talk about this cover? So this is the third book in the uh, Children of Blood and Bone uh, series. And listen, let me tell you, let me tell you, I've been waiting some a good amount of time to have this book in my hands so I have the other two books obviously over in the other room but I'm gonna reread those in preparation for reading this I'm not gonna look at anything I don't want to see anything I don't want to be spoiled but yeah from what I remember I think it's about this girl who's nearly her whole tribe was killed or at least her mother was killed because they were practicing like, forbidden magic or something, if I remember rightly, and they're like slaves. Or, uh, do you know what? <laughs> I will be rereading Children of Blood and Bone at some stage. And then the other book that I got was The End Crowns All by B. Fitzgerald. Yes, we got two pounds off 
Um, let me just take that sticker off so you can properly see the gorgeousness that is this cover. Like, look at that, look at this. And I need you all to see what, what else is happening underneath. Okay, so look at this, look at that, look at this. Like, I haven't even properly looked at this myself. This is stunning. And blue sprayed edges, obviously you can see as well. Eh, da, da, da. Oh, end pages, a city on fire. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, just the same. Is this signed? Because I don't know, know my other one. No. Um, B. Fitzgerald is also the author of uh, Girl Goddess Queen. Oh my word. I, I very nearly forgot what the name of that book was called. And I literally only read it last month. And I gave it five stars, flip sake. So Girl Goddess Queen is a retelling of um, Hades and Persephone. I'm not sure what this one is. Love caused this war, at least what's, that's what the stories will say. When war finally comes to Troy's shores, Cassandra and Helen might hold the key to, re to reweaving the future, especially with the strands of fate drawing them ever closer together. But Troy is destined to fall. And how do you change your future when following your heart means to find the gods themselves? Okay, fate of drawing them ever closer together. Is this sapphic? Is this going to be sapphic? Hold on. When Cassandra's patron god Apollo offers her the gift of prophecy, all the power that comes with it, she's the opportunity. Helen Flash. It just uh, wow. So I don't know if it's gonna be sapphic or not. Hopefully, that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, Girl Goddess Queen, I read by B. Fitzgerald last month and I absolutely adored it. And when I saw that in Waterstones, I was like, give that to me right now. So yeah. That is my haul for <laughs> everything. I got some clothes, got some her things, got some books, and I very nearly got another Stray Kids album. Like, I walked in the HMV. Like, I already own Chick Chick Boom. Like, I already own a copy of their newest album, but I found a different version of it, and I was going to get it, but I was like, no, I need to resist. <laughs> I need to resist. So, um... So I didn't get it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this little random chit chatty video. I hope you're all having a good day. Let me know if, uh, let me know what books you bought yourself recently. And if any of you have purchased either one of these, let me know. What new releases have you got recently? Just let me know what you're doing, how you're feeling, all that jazz in the comments. Um, all my socials are down below as always, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. My TikTok has some very important videos pinned to the top of my profile. And also, if you scroll through, you'll see plenty of other videos that I have on there that you can interact with to help out some families in Palestine. So do all that. You don't have to follow me. Just interact with those videos and get them in the algorithm, okay? So, and also subscribe if you are new here. Whoa, nearly dropped my book. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell so you know whenever I upload. And I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Hopefully bookish related this time. <laughs> anyway, bye.